In this video, we're going to talk about the stability of cycloalkanes. And there's four examples I want to go over. Cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, and cyclohexane. So which of these four rings is the most stable? And which one is the least stable? So it turns out that cyclohexane is more stable than cyclopentane which is more stable than cyclobutane, and cyclobutane is more stable than cyclopropane. So this means that cyclopropane has the greatest amount of ring strain. In fact, if you look it up in your textbook, you'll find that the heat of combustion per CH2 group, not the total heat of combustion for the molecule, but per CH2 group for cyclopropane is 697 kilojoules per mole. Now for cyclobutane, it's 680. And for cyclopentane, it's less, it's 658. And for cyclohexane, it's 653. So as you can see, cyclohexane has the least amount of ring strain because it has the lowest heat of combustion per CH2 group. So therefore, cyclohexane is the most stable in this group, where cyclopropane is the least stable. In fact, cyclopropane is so, it has so much energy that if you react it with hydrogen gas, it can undergo an addition reaction and turn into propane. Cyclopropane has the molecular formula C3H6. So if you add H2 to it, you're going to get propane, which has the molecular formula C3H8. And so rings like three carbon rings and even four carbon rings, because they have so much ring strain, they can undergo addition reactions with uh, hydrogen gas, as an example. The driving force for such an addition reaction is stability. So the reason why cyclopropane reacts with hydrogen gas is because it wants to become more stable. And so by turning into propane, a straight chain alkane, it relieves itself of all that ring strain or angle strain that it had. And so three carbon rings and even four carbon rings, they can undergo addition reactions. Now let's talk about why cyclopropane has so much ring strain, but cyclohexane does not. For an sp3 carbon, such as methane, which has a tetrahedral molecular geometry, the ideal angle is 109.5. What is the angle inside the cyclopropane ring? Well, this is basically a triangle. And a triangle has an, a total interior angle of 180. So there's three angles in this triangle. 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. And so this angle is very far away from the ideal 109.5 angle. Now, in the case of cyclobutane, you can see that this looks like a square, so the angles are 90. Now, there's another way in which you can calculate the interior angle of a polygon. And so you can use this formula, 180 times n minus 2 divided by n, where n is the number of sides. In the case of this triangle, n is 3. So it's 180 times 3 minus 2 over 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 times 180 is 180, divided by 3, that gives you 60. In case of the square, or for cyclobutane, it has 4 sides, so n is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2, 180 times 2 is 360, 360 over 4, well we know that 36 divided by 4 is 9, so that becomes 90. Now for cyclopentane, it has five sides, so n is going to be five this time. Five minus two is three, and 180 times three is 540. So we need to take 540 and divide it by five. 500 divided by five is 100, and 40 divided by five is eight. So you get 108 for the interior angle of cyclopentane. So 108 is very close to the ideal angle of 109.5.
And so that's why cyclopentane doesn't have much ring strain. It has some, but very little. Now what about cyclohexane? What's the situation there? So it's basically a hexagon with six sides. And 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 times 180 is 720. 720 divided by 6 will give you 120. So the ideal angle for a hexagon, the interior angle, is 120. Now, cyclohexane doesn't form a flat hexagon. In fact, it can basically bend into a chair conformation. And so it could form the ideal angle of 109.5. The cyclohexane doesn't have any ring strain or angle strain. And so that's why it has the lowest heat of combustion per CH2 group. And so that's it for this video. So make sure you understand that three carbon rings and four carbon rings, they have a lot of angle strain. So let's say if you're given an example problem. Which of the following molecules is the most stable? And which one is the least stable? So automatically, the most stable is going to be the one with the cyclohexane ring because it doesn't have any ring strain. The least stable will be the cyclobutane ring because out of the three compounds listed, it has the most angle strain. And so you could get a simple question like that. So three carbon rings and four carbon rings, they're highly unstable. They have a lot of angle strain. Five and six carbon rings, they are pretty much stable. They don't have much ring or angle strain.